I like dinosaurs, but the new ones they keep coming out with are starting to get a bit boring. I mean, look at these. Tarbosaurus? That looks familiar. Oh, it's just a T-Rex. Chasmosaurus? More like Taurosaurus copy. How about one that came out in 2023? Tharosaurus. There's no way this looks like another dot. Oh, hold on a minute. Don't even get me started on sauropods. So how are we going to fix this dinosaur disaster? Simple. Let's just make some. I'm going to roll some dice, follow these sheets here, and just go with it, okay? Before I start, I just want to say, I'm not a paleontologist. My dino knowledge isn't even that good. I just think they're neat. So, you know, don't come at me in the comments, because I will find you. Right, I've already taken too long explaining this, so let's get started. First thing to roll for is body type. And we're starting off with a two. You know, I'm glad we're starting off with a sauropod, because they're the worst offenders of being boring. Next up is diet. What the sauropod is going to eat? Oh, that's a one. Carnival. This is only the first episode of Roll for Dinosaur, and we already have something interesting going. Now for the fun bit. The part which separates your Megalosaurus from your Therizinosaurus. Before we see which features we actually end up with, let's see how many we get to roll. Four? Oh, okay. Could be worse. I don't want to voice over with these different rolls because it would take ages, so let's just do this. Almost done. Just need to see which colours we can use. And that is two different colours, which are yellow and green. And that's part one done. Now it's time to move on to... Finally, the bit we've all been waiting for, we've all been waiting to see. It has only taken... Two and a half minutes, are you kidding me? This is taking me ages to edit. Jesus Christ. Anyway, let's get drawing. First thing I did was get the basic shapes down. Sort of like the body, neck, and I knew I wanted to give this dino a huge tail. Since this was going to be a carnival, it needed a way to attack other creatures. So I thought it could use its head like a club. This means to protect its brain, it's going to have some armoured skull. With its head thrashing, it's been given some lovely horns, which should make it way more effective. The trickiest part of this whole design was deciding where to put the actual uh, back plates. I went through multiple different like, designs, but I settled on these uh, this single line of pentagons running from its back to its tail. All that was left to do was these small little details, like the claws and the scales, and then I moved on to line art. The line art's a bit less interesting, so I've sped this up. Now, this is going to be a bit controversial, but I do actually use the same pencil brush I used for sketching to do the line art. I know. Obviously, you can't invent a dinosaur without giving it a name. So, I was, I was thinking of stuff, looking at like Greek and Latin root words or whatever, and I settled for Tall Dragon, which is... Dracolatus, Dracolatus, however you want to pronounce it. I don't really care. But uh, yeah, that's, there we go. New dinosaur. Look how, look how interesting that is. Oh, imagine seeing that in a museum. As a kid, you would lose it. And that brings episode one of Roll for Dinosaur to an end. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Maybe even drop a comment down below. I'll reply to one. If you want to see which dinosaurs I make next, or you just like my art, I'm also on Instagram and TikTok. I mainly make comic stuff, but this is a little bit of a step outwards, so I'll be doing more of this in the future. So come check me out. Uh, bye, I guess.